<laughs> you really do care about her, don't you? Where is she? What did you do? What do you think I did? You now she was behaving very rudely, and I don't like it when people are rude to me. Tell me where she is, or I swear to God, I will cut you up and rip you apart! <laughs> oh, and so, the knight in shining armor becomes the Jarl of Darkness. That is tragic. <laughs> Doesn't that feel good? Hurt me. Kill me. Do it! Get a taste of it! You're fucking sick. And you're missing out. I can feel it. Their judgment, their, their jealousy, their lack of compassion. You don't deserve this. I didn't deserve this. And look at me now. I'm free. My soul has been liberated from the weight of the world. You're afraid. Give in to the fear. Listen to it. I know what you're trying to do, it's not gonna work. I don't have to do a damn thing. You're doing it to yourself, and it's fascinating to watch. I'm gonna make sure you get locked up for a real long time. I swear <laughs> to God, your life is one big miserable piece of shit, and I will make sure you suffer through every minute of it. Attachment is the cause of suffering. <laughs> know something. If your daughter was cut up into little itty bitty pieces, would you still love her? reality just like you are and darkness is a part of us we fear it when it should be our friend because how can you love yourself if you reject the things that you don't like about yourself please don't death is not scary death will make you see what it's really like to live we're gods in the making. And when you understand that, you will be able to unleash all that anger and turn it into desire. Watching the life drain from someone's eyes, it's intoxicating. It's a feeling like no other. Because the beauty of it all is that in this very moment, as you feel everything slip away into a home, this freedom gives me great power. Just as easily as I can kill you, I can also give you life. I said, don't like it when people are rude to me. <laughs> 